Today I have a fall tote bag DIY. Beginner easy. Keep watching. I'm Brandy and this is Making It My Own. Today I'm going to try out this little mini press. I was approached by the company to see if I would like to try it and I don't have a press to go with my new Cricut. So I decided to give it a try. It's got a little base and everything. Alright, so I just picked out a very easy little font. It says Happy Fall, y'all. I'm just weeding it out here. Taking all those little extras out, I've already taken the excess off of it. That was a mess, let me tell you. Beginner's mistakes, you know? But I think I'll learn from all my little mistakes along the way, the way we all do. And I'll get better. This process will be better. So if you're interested in using this after you've seen the video, you can look down in the description box and I'll have the links to this and we've also got a coupon code for you. So be sure you check that out if you're in the market for a little press. Now granted I have a big item here that I'm using a little press on and it still works. Takes a little bit longer but it still works. But I think this would be ideal for smaller projects. It's just real easy three different levels of heat. You just press the little on button. You wait, it'll flash red until it's ready and then it will turn green and you can use it. Okay, so I've used heat transfer vinyl here. I'm gonna use a canvas tote bag and I'm just gonna put this box top, it's a wooden box top. It came from like a wine box, I believe. It works perfect for this because it fits right down in there. And this way I've got a harder surface to iron on top of. So I'm going to center this as much as I can, press it down, and then I'm going to get my ruler and make sure that it's fairly even. And it looks about right. Then I'm going to cover it up, protect that, that surface there, and start pressing it down. And I'm just going to press it down section by section a little bit at a time. Holding it on there, making sure it has plenty of time to set up and adhere those vinyl pieces to the canvas bag. The canvas bags came from Goodwill. I found a pile of them and I only took four and now I wish I would have taken more. I will definitely get more of those things because they make the ideal blank for any season. So I had it on high power just one click and I put it back on the base when I was finished and now I'm checking to make sure it is stuck down and it is I was scared when I lifted this up I was worried it wasn't gonna stick but it did and it turned out so nice this little press is not heavy it's it's a very lightweight piece, which makes it great for my hands. I sometimes have issues with my wrists, so this is perfect for me. I like it, and I plan on using it in conjunction with my Cricut for lots and lots of projects this year, and of course next year. So I'm going to give you an idea of what you can do once you've made your creation. I'm just going to stuff the bottom of the bag. It's got paper in the bottom. Then I put a little piece of that excess canvas in there to stuff it. If you want to use it for a decoration, you want it to freestand, so that will put uh, a little stiffness to the bag. Then I've added a beautiful fall scarf in the side. I'm going to take a couple of picks that happen to coordinate with the colors that are in the scarf, and I'm just going to kind of lay those to the side, almost like we've been to the farmer's market and we've picked up some things and we're ready to go. I'm just going to add that in. Then I'll put this little plush scarecrow. I got him at Goodwill too. And then make whatever kind of bow you like. This is a very simple bow. I just tied it in the middle with some jute. I've got a pin and I'm going to secure it to the handles of the bag with a pin. It makes a really pretty display, but if you didn't want to use it as a display, you could take the stuffing out of the bottom, maybe put any type like magazines or seasonal candy in the bottom and give this as a gift. This is really nice and if you have somebody who loves fall this would be perfect. I know I would love getting this. 
I really wasn't sure in the beginning how I would benefit from having transfer vinyl and, and doing things with fabrics, but I can clearly see now after using it, and I have so many ideas of things that can be done. And now having everything I need to put those together makes it perfect. I've got the press, it's inexpensive, you know, it's easy to store because it's compact and small. It's not heavy, you don't have to put an excessive amount of weight onto it to hold it in place, which is great if you have arthritis or wrist issues, anything like that. Uh, it makes it very easy. It's got the little base that protects your surface. It's stable, it doesn't fall over when you place it back down, so that is not an issue. And after it's on for a certain amount of time, it will start beeping to let you know and it'll go off by itself. So that's great. And you just plug it in to a regular two-prong plug. No problems at all. I'm very happy to have this in my crafting toolkit. Do y'all like this? I mean, I'm from the South, so happy fall, y'all, is just perfect for me. But you can use anything you like with any type of vinyl, any colors that you like. I happen to have gotten my vinyl at Hobby Lobby when it was 50% off, so it was normally $14.99, I think, so I got it for like $7, and it's a big, you know, pretty big roll. You can do a lot if you trim your vinyl down um, to make sure that you don't waste a lot. The next videos coming up will be Halloween, and they're not scary Halloween, nothing gross, so stay tuned for that, and then I'll do some more Thanksgiving type crafts before we start Christmas, so be sure you keep watching. See you again soon. Bye!